Welcome to Carol Sue Designs. Um, today I am going to show you how to create a wish bracelet card and envelope. And right now I am going to load up one of the envelopes. Um, these are digital design that I created. I've been using them for a couple of years now. Um, when I get the envelope in here, I resize it to six inches. I only, I just grab the width or the height, whichever I feel at the moment. Um, I'm using a Cricut machine. And now we're going to send it to the printer right here. So this is going to print out the envelope. I just use a regular, um, regular copy paper. And um, for the cards, I use a thicker card stock. I get a... Uh, Let's see. It doesn't say the weight. Oh, 110 pounds for the cardstock here. I'll pull this stuff out so you can actually read what it says. So, I just get premium cardstock for the cards. That way, you know, your cards are thicker and sturdier for, um, putting your bracelets on and we're just going to pop this on here try to get it as straight as you can I used to I had a um envelope cutter that I bought when I first started making these. I had bought this envelope cutter and I mean it makes great little envelopes and uh, so I was making them with that for a while because I was really honestly too lazy to figure out how to print and cut with my plotter and a year ago, my husband bought me this Cricut for Christmas, and so I actually said, well, I'll just create the envelope and cards and see if I can print and cut them, and voila. And I'll tell you, it like cut my workflow down like more than in half on these. I sell these. Um, I've been selling these, uh, I think this will be my fourth, third or fourth year selling the wish bracelet cards and envelopes online. I, um, put them in my Etsy shop and, um, so honestly, it made it so much easier for me to do it. And then you just... You know roll it and kind of peel it off so that you don't want it to get curled up because then it makes it harder to work with so we have two envelopes here ready and next we're gonna cut out the card so we are let's see finished with that and Next, we're going to get, pull up the card here. So, on the design, I have the card set up where you can print an individual card. Like, you, so you could just print one card here with the hearts. Or you can cut out four at a time. I am going to choose the four because... I mean I sell them so now this um, this part 
goes down to, oh, let me double check my size here. Cards are three and a quarter inches. So what I do when I do this is I line up my card here so that, whoa, I'm at the one inch over there. Whoops. And then I bring it down to where this card here hits the quarter inch mark there so that the card will be three and a quarter inches across and then we just go here and then um, now with the card stock you um, it's thicker I have found I can only put one piece at a time in so I always just put in each piece when I'm cutting it so that um, or when I'm printing it so that um, it doesn't get a paper jam because a paper jam is not going to be any fun all right so this should print here so just regular paper regular printer paper you can get a little bit thicker if you want your envelopes to be a little thicker which um is nice so that they're just a little bit nicer if you're if you're selling them i would recommend getting a little bit better quality paper for your envelopes and then the card stack for the cards. There we go. So here is the card. It has a little bit of a bleed on there. And so now we're going to cut these. And seriously, this is so easy. So I sell these on my Etsy shop. And people really like them. I've gotten really good reviews. Um, from people when they buy these for Valentine's Day and a lot of times people will buy several so you know like I put them up for $6.99 individually and then if they um like I tear it down so the pr like knock the price down like I don't know around 50 cents ish per item the more that they buy some people want to some people like i've sold like two dozen i think before at one time and so you know giving them a little bit of a discount because you're the shipping on these um if you ship with tracking whether you ship one or you sh ship like six the shipping is going to be the same so you only need to charge them the shipping for you know basically the one and so it's, you, you won't lose out on that but they're a fun little gift if you just want to make them for your family or your friends you can make something make them for your co-workers um but they're just a fun fun little valentine type of thing all right so we're gonna get started i'll show you how i do the um let me turn this a little bit here get as close as i can there's stuff under my table here so it's hard to get too close storage all right so here we have the Oh no. 
and I didn't, I don't know how this is going to come out if I put this back in. I forgot to change my setting for my cut. Darn it all. Alright. Remember to change your setting in between for cardstock. Alright, let's try cutting that again. See what happens. I mean, it's gonna come out or it's not. Oh, look, that's doing in that thing. So, okay. So now for the envelope, what I do is, um, I'm still working on, I probably should figure out how to do the scoring on there, but I haven't got there yet. So you need to have a scoring tool of some sort. This one came with my little envelope maker that I showed you. So I really am accustomed to this one but this one will work as well this came with my Cricut machine or I bought it with a set or something all right so what I do okay this is an old um, paper cutter and I don't use this one anymore so I popped the thing off of it and I use it for scoring stuff now because you have your little slit here that's all you need is just that little groove and then I line up this and that right at the groove here and then this slide and you got to be careful depending on the thickness of your paper you don't want to do it too hard okay let's see line it up this spot Sorry, I think I told you the wrong spot. The corner. And just slide it like that. I've, I've actually literally cut the paper because I had done some with just the regular paper and done it too hard. Um, so then you just are going to score it all the way around like this. And let's do this other one Show you one more time so line up your inner corners right here and just slide it over just like that And then you have these score lines where you can pull that. Alright, let's see if we can pop this off of here now. Let's see if it uh, worked out for me. Mostly, yes. Alright. So we got these cute little hearts. Um, and they are... Oops. These are for the back of your envelope. Make sure you do this. Bend that when you pull these off because you don't want your card to bend. You want your card to stay nice and straight. Alright. So, now moving right along. <laughs> ah, we've got our envelope scored. And so here, see how your card actually fits in here. So you, if you can make your cards larger, um, I do them at this size because if you go too wide, it won't let you cut it. So you can adjust what size you want to make them. You, you know, they can, like, this is the one that's already done before. That one actually seems a little bit larger than this. I probably just sized it down just by eye. Um, so you want to fold your envelopes. Just do this here at your score mark. Hopefully I'm not getting off the camera here. All right. So, here's your bottom of your card. You want to fold in 
left side or your right side first, whichever you feel. Um, but you want to make sure it's lined up nicely here so that it doesn't, like, sometimes it will come out where, I don't know how to, where, like, this will be, like, way off. Like that. You don't want that. I mean, family isn't going to care, but if you're selling these, you want quality. So, you do that. So, let's do this one more time. Um, here's your bottom. So, you could actually go start here. Come here. Do that side. Then, bring your bottom up. And then, do your top. Okay, so see how this is not quite aligned, so I just flip it. Whoops, let me show you again. So, this isn't quite aligned right there. I don't like that. So, I just flip those two. So, that's aligned. And it looks much better. So then, for this, I, once I got all folded nicely, I just a dab of glue right at the corner, tap it down, another little dab of glue right there, and tap it down. So, more time here. I don't even know if you can see what I'm doing here. Let's do it this way. Dab of glue. This is the bottom. This is the top. Hey, yeah. Okay. So, dab of glue, there we go, tiny dab of glue, and it doesn't really take that much glue to do this. Sorry if you uh, just heard my noisy computer over there. Computer has a fan issue, and I don't know that it can be fixed. Buying a new one will fix it. Alright, so, here we have that. Two cute little cards. This one is kind of a salmon pink color. I know the color's off in here. And this one is pink. So we got two different colors. And the cards. So I just cut one of the cards and actually have me find the other one. One is I don't know if the, um, the design, if it's got two different colors. I should check that out, huh? I feel like it might not. It might have... Because I did, when I originally made them, I had a red outline and a blue outline. Or, a, not blue, I'm sorry. Red outline and a pink outline. Okay, so there should be a red and pink, so you could pink, uh, print a red one. So, like, one has a red outline here, and one has a pink outline here. Whoops. Red here, pink here. And then the hearts are switched. And then the colors here are different. So, the color here matches the outline. But, anyways... Moving along, so we have these cute little hearts here, and what I do with those is I have some adhesive dots. Well, these aren't really dots. I have adhesive squares. Um, so what I do with these is I flip these over, and I take a square... And this gives it just a little 3D effect. So I pop one of these squares right onto the back of the heart. See if we can be focused. Okay. And then I want to line this up here. So I want 
I want this heart to go right here on the corner of the envelope closing so what I do is I just lift up the corner sometimes it takes the whole thing off but I do them at an angle like this because what I want is I just want to slide whoa I'm glad that landed the way it did I just want to slide that little tip of the corner in there and then I put it back down now if you're making these to just give to family you don't need to worry about that but if you want to sell them then you want to leave that on there for them to be able to put their um, stuff together I'll show you how I package them because they just come to like when I sell them this is how they come and then they take this out and they put if they want to write a note on the back of the card or whatever they can and then they put it in the envelope and seal it up themselves so okay one more time let's do this envelope And then just slide that in right there. Boom. Squish it back down. And you have your envelope. We have two envelopes. Okay, so then you have your card. Your card literally can just slide right in there. And you don't want your when you cut your card, like I said, you can adjust the size to what you want. Um, but make sure your envelope is six inches. Just the one, the width or the height, either way, six inches. Um, but if it's too, if this card is too close to the size of your envelope, it's not going to fit in right, especially once you put this on. You put your bracelet on there. And then you go try and put this in and your card, say your card is like here. That's not going to let, it's not going to let your, um, your bracelet slide in there nicely. So you, you want room in there for it to go nicely. So what I use for, you can use any kind of heart charm. I just have these little tiny heart charms. They're cute. And I have pink and I have red cord that I use for mine. You could decide to use white or black, whatever colors you want. Um, I have these cords. This is just wax cotton cord. Is all it is. They work great. This is like a 0 0.5 millimeter. So, then what I do, um, now you're going to, de depending on what kind of charm you have, you'll have to figure out how to tie it on. I think these ones, I have to just put one end in there, and then we... Just go like this, and I tie a knot in there, and slide that knot all the way down, boom, like that, and we're good. Um, now, if you have a different kind of charm, like, you could use, like, um... A bead I mean you don't even have to use a heart if you don't want to you can put on it whatever you want it's your choice if you're making it you can do it ever how you want to um but this is what I do so now I have some um, heart beads so then I just slide the slide the cord through the bead hole 
and then I just tie a knot on each side of the hole and that works perfectly well too all right so then what we do is we have tape available for us which I do not have any of um, I put my bracelet on here like so okay and I turn it over and I just I hold it here like this and just kind of make a little loop and then I tape it down like that I apparently don't have any tape in here but that's what I do and then I have little plastic um, baggy sleeves um, I do not use a plastic baggie for the ones that I sell I want something that's a little more professional looking so I tape that shut there I put them in the baggie you can they don't they're not gonna really stay like this but when I package them I usually put them like this they don't always stay that way but that way they can see the back of their envelope when they open up their package now if you are just giving these as a little valentine card to your friends then you would just put this in here yourself write them a note on the back if you choose seal that up boom and you can do it that way so that um let's see so the cord you might want to know um I do approximately 16 inches, 14 to 16 inches. So I cut about that much because that gives them enough room to be able to tie it on their wrist. Some people might want to wear it as an anklet. Some people might want to make a little necklace out of it. So I generally do about 16 inches for the cord and that is pretty much it i believe they're definitely a cute and fun valentine idea and if you have any questions um just put them below and i will get back to you and answer the best i can you guys have a great day and thanks for watching